My name is Susanna. Welcome to Love Belly Dance, my fundamental oriental style belly dance vocabulary series. I'm going to teach you the side samiha. We're going to first start with balanced supported posture. Now we're going to do this step side to side as I teach you this, but keep in mind that this step, once you've got it, can go in any direction. It can go to the side and it can go to your corners. Doesn't matter where you take it, but for today, I'm going to face you. Um, this step is also referred to uh, as the Egyptian diagonal. So whether you call it the side of the Miha step or the Egyptian diagonal, that's up to you. Um, the basics of it is just a step together, step together. A step means you're placing weight and then together means you're bringing your feet together and you're sharing the weight. And then when we want to switch to the other side, we end with a step and a touch. Okay? So if you're doing this in a four count, we would go step together, step, touch. This would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. And we want to remember that we keep our knees soft or core engaged, our fig leaf is pointing straight to the ground, and so we keep the knees soft because that's going to give us the range of motion in our hips that we need in a moment when we start to add a pace to it. So the reason why it's sometimes called the Egyptian diagonal is that even though I'm going to travel to the side, I'm going to turn my body to an angle now. And so I'm going to go step together, step touch. Now I'm going to turn to the other corner here. So imagine you've got your dance box and you're taking that box with you no matter where you go along the stage. And right now I'm facing the front of my dance box, right? But now I'm going to turn to face the corner of my dance box. Face the corner of my dance box. My corner, right? So that's where you got the diagonal facing the diagonal. So the next thing that we do is to really start to get the hip movements in there is you're starting with that, the, the, you know, the balanced supportive posture with the knees soft, lots of range of motion in the hips. I'm turning my body so my hips are facing the corner of my dance box. And as I'm traveling to the side or this side, if I'm traveling to the right, then my right foot is flat and my trailing foot, the foot that's trailing behind, is on the ball. So I go flat, ball, flat, touch. Now switch the other direction. Flat, ball, flat, touch. Flat, ball, flat, touch. Flat, ball, flat, touch. Touch. And you can do this in eight counts. So let's, let's give it a try. Eight counts. So on the count of eight, that is when I'm going to bring my feet together and touch. And then switch the direction so I'm ready to go on count one in the other direction. Okay? So here we go. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a diagonal arm pose. So we're going to firm up our arms into a T position like laser beams. Very strong. No softness with this one. Very strong, firmed up all the way through the fingertips, even though we still have that beautiful, graceful dancer hand. And then from here, we're going to tilt the rib cage, the torso, just a little bit, so we create the diagonal line. So we're going from a T position to a diagonal here. Shoulders are pulled back and down. You're not wearing them scrunched up like earrings. You're pulling them down away from your ears, and you're turning your hips to the corner of your dance box. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna to touch eight. Touch eight, this is my transition. Plie, pull it through. Strong arms as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, so, have you noticed something's happening over here? What's happening? So as I step with a flat foot, I come together, and this is home base, right? Home base. Hips are level, so whether my heel is lifted or my heel is flat on the ground, my hips are level. So even though I'm traveling to the side, 
You'll notice as I come here, I'm in home base with my hips, right? But what happens is I step, I'm gonna straighten this leg, back leg, as I do so, the lift, hip is gonna lift up, I'm gonna contract into the obliques, and so my hip lifts up, and my tush pushes out. Out and up. Okay, so let's try. Straighten the leg, bend. Straighten the leg, bend. From the other side. So hips are level here. Straighten the leg, bend. Straighten the leg, bend. Good, so let's give this a try. Starting in our basic position. Turn to the corner. Diagonal arm pose. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 And that is our Sai Kumi hop step.